I just wanted to ask, uh, I saw someone on Facebook, of course, making comments about um, things like the deity of Jesus being invented in Nicaea, and I know that's silly, mm -hmm. uh, but they also mentioned um, like the P and Q source documents and stuff like that, and I've never actually heard anyone critique uh, like biblical criticism. So, okay. uh, did, you, did you have anything to say about the idea that there were certain source documents and things? Yes, like there were, because Luke actually says he checked with sources in the very first couple of verses of the Gospel of Luke. Luke says, I checked all this out. Basically saying, I interviewed eyewitnesses. Uh, and there may have been written sources as well that he drew some of his data from. Uh, the thing you're talking about, Q, is a hypothetical source that maybe the synoptic gospels use. What are the synoptic gospels? Matthew, Mark, and Luke. That used as a source for writing down what they wrote down. No one's ever find a document called Q. It comes from a German word which means source. But it's a theory that some scholars have that these documents had sources and these weren't necessarily primary documents. Maybe they were secondary documents. But we make the case in the book, I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist, that most, if not all, the New Testament documents are written prior to 70 AD during the lifetime of the eyewitnesses by eyewitnesses or people that knew eyewitnesses, for example, Luke. So whether there were sources that they referred to or not, I think is irrelevant. Again, the question always comes back to, do those documents explain or provide evidence that there are eyewitness, there's eyewitness testimony in there? Did the events that they record really really happen. And I think when you look at the evidence, you realize, yes, those events really occurred. And when people say that uh, they didn't occur, quite frequently, the reason they're saying that is because they have an anti-supernatural bias. They say, anything that smacks of miracles is legendary and can't be true. Well, that's a philosophical bias. If the first verse of the Bible is true, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, then every other verse is at least possible, right? Because that's the greatest miracle, the first verse. And when you have atheists admitting that space, matter, and time had a beginning, then maybe if the first verse of the Bible is true, maybe the other verses are true as well. So we have uh, plenty of, uh, in fact, in the book, I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist, there's a chapter called The Top Ten Reasons We Know the New Testament Writers Told the Truth.